Hey, it's the Droid Guy here, and we are going to take a quick look at some cool features in the Samsung Galaxy Tab. For this review, we have a Galaxy Tab that's on Verizon Wireless. Check it out. We're going to turn it on here real quick and open it up. And the first thing we're going to look at is Mobile Hotspot. All the Galaxy Tabs come with the ability to use Mobile Hotspot a la Froyo 2.2 Android. And just click the Mobile Hotspot button, engage it, and then look for the wireless Wi-Fi emitted from the Galaxy Tab on whatever device you're tethering to. This comes in handy when you want to tether another phone to it or if you need your computer out and you just don't have any wireless internet available. On Verizon's 3G it's pretty fast wherever you go. The next thing we're going to look at is a feature on the Samsung Galaxy Tab that you won't find on anything else and it's the ability on TouchWiz or the Samsung UI to change the launcher. Here I'm going to take Hootsuite off and put Gmail in its place. I'm going to move the browser icon off and heck Go ahead and pick another one, this time Gallery. As you can see now, I have those two icons in the launcher, and when I move home screens, they stay in the launcher. Open up my Gmail, just as you would any launcher. Open up my pictures if I want to. And you can put any of your icons for any of your programs into the launcher on the left and right side of the app drawer. This is commonly found in ADW launcher and now it's a nice feature that comes stuck in the Samsung Galaxy Tab. I want to thank Android Renaissance man Russell Holly for pointing us out to us. And we also confirmed that it works with the T-Mobile, AT&T, and Sprint version as well. Sprint ID can be moved off the launcher and something else can be put in its place. I'm the Droid Guy. Check back later for more information on the Galaxy Tab. We've been reviewing the Galaxy Tab online here since September, so I wanted to just show you those quick features.